Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And then on today's video, we're looking at German data, US data, and NASDAQ. So before we get into today's video, please click that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And then if you want the best broker to use to trade like NASDAQ, US data, and NASDAQ, you can just use the links in the description below. So looking at the daily time frame on German data, I'm looking at this high point and this lowest point around here. Since the market is open, I'm not going to use like the weekly time frame. So looking at this area also, we have like the double top area. And then previously we had like this mass psychology activation around this point here. So I'm just going to remove that one and just focus on the three that I have on the charts at the moment. Then we have this nice ascending channel. And then what I'd like to do is that I'll just put it around this point since it's where the market rejected on the previous week. So I'll just use like this area. And then after using the area, then I'll have like the one at the top, just like this. So we have a nice ascending channel whereby you expect the market to clearly push to the downside, maybe around this point until this area here. Yeah. So that is my thought process so far. And then looking at the four hour time frame, on the four hour time frame, what I'm seeing is pretty different just because as you can see, we had like all the three touches and then this pattern is complete. So what I'll do is that I'll just rain out my trend line and then my ray line and just put it around this area here. So initially what I'm thinking is that we can initially push to the upside, create some type of a double top formation before we can initially sell off up until the overall 90% on German data. So uh, tell me what you think in the comment section below what you're thinking on your German data analysis. So looking at this low here, we have like the, the descending channel within this point. And then after having like this nice descending channel, we had like a clear push to the upside. And then this is the larger corrective move to initially push to the upside, creating the double top formation to initially push to the downside. Or what we can get is the market pushing to the upside to reach like this high point of which is this one here, then we can initially sell off from there. And then initially, as I always say, I'm looking for that my psychology activation whereby we initially push to the upside. Instead of a retest, we break back inside and then we create continuations or reversals to the downside and then we reach the overall 90%. So that is what I'm currently thinking on the D on the German data. And then looking at the one hour time frame, of which is our entry time frame, we have the scenario that I was talking about very nicely. So as you can see, the descending channel, you can just drain it out just like this if you want. And then we have this pattern trying to form up around this point here, of which this is not, this is not a pattern that I would like to trade. But as you can see, this is what we have so far. And then we have the double bottom formation around this point here, of which it's nice for us to have like the double bottom formation and then in form of a descending channel also. So what I'll be expecting on this one is for the market to give us a tight flag within this point, six to eight hours. And then we initially push to the upside or we can have a push to the outside. And then we have the first tight flag being outside like this descending channel whereby we can take a buy from this point here. And then we have this type of formation. And then your entry should be a few pips above. Your stop loss can be just below. And then you're targeting this as your first your first target. And then initially we can target like the overall highs for around 8%. And then, then that is when we can look for those selling opportunities on German data. So simply this is what I'm looking at. And then you can just drop a comment of how you're looking at German data so far for this week. And then looking at US data from daily time frame, from the daily. So on the daily time frame, what I'll do is that I'll be looking at this point here. From the daily time frame, I think the US data will be buying just because we have a double bottom that is clearly, clearly, clearly for you to see. Just like this, the double bottom formation. And then as you can see on this area here, area here, we have created that mass psychology activation. And then another thing that I'll be looking at is this area here. 
just because we had like this descending channel previously. Looking at the previous structures, the old data, we have the descending channel of which we didn't complete like the overall 90% of which is at the top of the structure, this one here. And then looking left previously, we reacted from this area here. And then now we pushed to the upside just like this. And then we created the larger flag to clearly push to the upside, complete like the overall target that we were previously looking at uh, in the previous videos. So, so far on the daily time frame, everything still looks nice. As you can see, the double bottom is nice. And then we have the mass psychology activation. So what I'll do is that I'll just draw like the structures that we have here. Then I'll just refine it on the lower time frame if it needs refining. So this is the area that we have. And then we have a free group whereby I share like uh, setups and signals sometimes. You can just join it using the link in the description below. So we have this expanding so far. Then on the four hour time frame, this is what we have. And then I can just make sure that I'm catering for the structures correctly. So as you can see here, we have like an expanding within a decent channel, just like this. So this is what we currently have on the four hour time frame. So this is the area that we have. So on the hour time frame, the entry time frame. So this is the area that we are focusing on so far. And then what I'm seeing is that price action is a bit messy at the moment. And then what I'm thinking is that we just have to wait for the market to clearly break this descending channel that we have around this point because we have some a smaller and a descending channel within this point here. And then what I'm seeing is that we push to the upside. So what we can expect is for the market to clearly give us the first type flag around this point. Then we can take our buying opportunities. And then, as you all know, we are targeting the high, the highs or the 90% of the previous descending channel. So it's just, your entry can be just above, your stop loss can be just below. And then you're targeting the overall third touch for about 8% initially. And then you can target the first 90% of which is this one. And then the second 90% would be at the top of the structure. So 10% and then 19% for the overall target. So this is a lot of money for you, you know, to take guys. So uh, I hope this trade works out and then uh, drop a comment of what you think about USD for this coming week so that we can uh, just debate about it in the comment sections. So this is the area. And then looking at NASDAQ, which that's our favorite. So let me just remove everything. So on the daily time frame on NASDAQ, so what I'm seeing on NASDAQ is very annoying just because we have this high point here and then we have this highest high here and then we have this here and then we have the low point of which is this one here. So what I'm thinking is that NASDAQ is trying to form a reversal just because we had like an ascending channel within here as you can see around this point. And then after having the ascending channel, what I'm seeing is that we have created like that mass psychology activation around this point, around this area here, but it's not in line with USDT just because most of the time when USDT is buying, NASDAQ should be buying also. So this is a bit tricky for me. And then looking at the four hour time frame, we had like this middle section which it was a very nice setup that was going on around this point here, the middle section. And then for us to initially reach like the overall third touch in this point, and then removing this ray line here, we'll just put it back in a few seconds. So this is the ascending channel on the four hour time frame, and then the middle section. And then what I'm expecting is for the market to clearly push to the upside very correctively, as I said on the previous videos, up until we reach like the overall of the touch in line with the first, second, and then third, before we can initially push to the downside. And then uh, another thing that I'm looking at most of the time and then all the time is this uh, override that I always talk about. 
and then we can take this override lightly but most of you guys take losses on this override you can just comment if you know that you're taking losses on this override whereby you can just wait and then it will just move to the downside so this is the area that we have and then we have this as a new channel of which it's also a reversal pattern to the downside so the override can just work in our favor at the moment and then i'll just push this trend line to the back a bit and then on the hour time frame that is where we look for those nice entries so as you can see we are at the top of the structure in form of that double top override so what i'll be expecting for me to take any trade on nasdaq is pretty simple just because we have the first touch second touch and then initially we can get like the third touch as you can see it's squeezing to the upside and then it's making some type of a knife uh formation and then we can just create like the third touch and then we can just sell off from this point as you can see we are using the ascending channel the candlestick confirmation the double top formation in form of that muscle collagen activation and then if this scenario does not work out then initially what we can look forward to seeing is for the market to clearly push to the upside up until you reach like this point and then very structurally and then as when i say structurally guys I mean, this type of movement whereby you get like a clear ascending channel, just like this area here, but at the top of the structure, just like this. And initially, it can just push to the upside, just like this. It's good for us just because we know that that is the mass psychology activation. So, looking back to it, we can have like this type of formation at the top of the structure, of which is nice, just because we have like the POI tapped. And then we can look for those selling opportunities. Stop loss can be just above. And then we're targeting the first target for about 5%. The overall target of which is the 90%, of which it's at around 9%, of which is still okay, guys, because Nasdaq has a lot of money to offer us if we take like good setups all the time. So that is it for today's uh, indices analysis. And then I hope you took some value. If you have taken something, out of uh, today's analysis, you can just drop it in the comment section and then I'll gladly respond. And then yeah, guys, I'll see you on another video.